Romania has been religious since before it became Romania. What I mean by that is related to our ancestors, the Dacians, and they are the people who inhabited the territory of Romania, or most of it. It used to be bigger back then. Um, and were conquered by the Romans. Romanians were born. <laughs> well, it's not that simple, but it's the main idea. So, these people, the Dacians, they were pretty barbaric. I, I mean, they were just uncivilized. <laughs> This was before Christ and a little bit after Christ, so a long time ago. Uh, so before uh, they were conquered by the Romans, they used to believe in many different gods. And um, one way that they would show their devotion to their god, main god, Zemolxis, was to throw somebody onto spears. And if that person died, then that'd be great. It meant that the sacrifice was received by their god but if that person didn't die then the other people the people would kill the person for not dying <laughs> i know it sounds a little barbaric <laughs> but it's it's what was going on back there then there's the romanian middle ages um so basically romania didn't officially exist until 1859 when this guy named Alexander Ioan Cusa united the principalities of Romania that existed beforehand. Um, I'm gonna probably make a separate video about the history and all, but I just wanted to point that out because at the time that I'm talking of, the Romanian Middle Ages, there wasn't Romania. It was just Romanian principalities, like little countries, little countries that meant Romania. So anyway, before I stop making any sense whatsoever, um, I should mention that Vlad Impaler, he was uh, he was the prince or voivode of one of those principalities, and it's not Transylvania, it's actually the Romanian country, that's what it was called, uh, more on that some other time. And the person I meant to talk about when it comes to religion is Stefan the Great. He was the prince or voivode of the Moldavian country, which is located where I live in Romania. Well, where I was born, anyway. It's not the Republic of Moldova, that's a country, and it used to be part of Romania. Uh, this is more like a region within Romania. I'm gonna need a map or something, but you get it. So this guy, uh, he was a prince, and um, he is a very important Romanian personality because he protected us against the Turks and their religion. I'm not saying their religion is bad, it's just that we had our own and we, you know, didn't want to give it up. Uh, so he did a, all of that and, um, oh boy, the fan's on. It should be fun. I hate the sound that it makes, but anyway, um, Stefan the Great uh, was a very religious man. He devoted all his work to God. So every time he would win a battle, he would build a monastery or a sacred place somewhere in his country. And thankfully, these monuments still exist today and they are beautiful. And not just beautiful, but they're just full of history and culture and just spirituality. That's probably wrong, <laughs> the way I pronounced it, but they're just so holy. Like, you feel peace and protection and just well-being when you're there. It's hard to show all of that by just showing you pictures. You just would have to go there. Um, but I'm telling you, they're, they're just divine. Um, there's more about that that I would like to say, but... I'm gonna just stop there and I'm gonna refer back to it when I make those videos about the history of Romania. Okay, by the way, uh, all these monasteries and uh, churches, they still exist. I think I said that already, but anyway. And most of them are part of the UNESCO World Heritage. So, well, they're worth something. Another <laughs> relevant period of time when it comes to religion is communism. We had communism for about 40 years, give or take, and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> uh, 
It used to be pretty okay in the beginning, and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons in a different video. Um, but what relates to this issue is the fact that communists were atheists, so they wanted people to stop believing in God and stop celebrating, you know, religious uh, celebrations and whatnot. They would even destroy churches and that's just not nice. <laughs> but it happened. Um, however, people, some people, I'm sure most people, um, kept believing and hiding. I know for a fact that my parents were that way because they've been telling me how they had, they, they tried to celebrate Christmas and Easter without anybody knowing because if they did find out, you might get in trouble. Well, you would get in trouble. And it's not just being grounded. <laughs> you would probably go to prison. So, it was not, it was just not cool to disobey the system and to do it, it was very tricky and stressful. I don't know, I haven't lived back then, I was six months when we got rid of it, but I heard stories. I guess we're not that different from Dacians, going back to them, because we executed the president and his wife, the communists, uh, on Christmas Day, which, you know, wasn't the best plan, I think. It wasn't the best timing, I don't know about plan, but timing-wise, I don't think it should have happened on Christmas Day. That kind of marks the day in a very unpleasant way. All right. So, uh, did you guys know that in Romania we're required to take religion in class, in school? Religion class in school? <laughs> yeah, I think we start in first grade, but I can't swear on that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, I know that we're required to take it all the way to high school and maybe a year or two in high school as well. It depends on what kind of specialty you're in because once you get into high school you have to choose sort of a major. Complicated. I'll just talk about that some other time. I just have so much to say. <laughs> uh, either way, we do have to take religion every year, but it's not a bad class, it's like PE, you know, it's, they kind of let you slack off sometimes. I did have one professor who was really, really, she was like, yeah, you have to memorize this and this and this, and she had like a whole plan of study, and it was just way too serious for how we thought of it, <laughs> because, I mean, when you're 13, you don't really care, I think, unless you were born in a religion family religious family. Not the point. Um, we don't really, I personally haven't heard of uh, evolution in school but like five minutes in one of our classes. They don't really go into that. I only took it in college and I found out the truth. <laughs> well, not to say I don't believe in God because I do, but I think it'd be important to show, you know, evolution side by side by religion side by side with religion because for some people it's real either one of them or both of them it depends um, I think going back to communist communism this is such a disorganized video by the way I'm sorry about that I think uh, people kept religious because it's just hard or even impossible to take that kind of thing away from somebody because they've been raised that way and and that's what they believe in so it becomes part of them you just can tell them to shut it off you know so religious uh, ceremonies in Romania which is orthodox by the way are kind of boring I'm sorry I have to say it I, I personally don't like them I would rather just go to church when there's nobody there or there's no no ceremony going on, no mass, and just pray. Um, it's just that they're kind of boring and repetitive and boring. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad about saying this, but that's how I see it. So, yep. One thing I do not like about orthodoxism are all the dogmas that just seem to be everywhere when it comes to this religion and I don't really understand what's the point I understand the need for rules and everything because otherwise there will be just total chaos and there will be no order but 
when it comes to religion, I don't understand why they have to be so uptight and why there has to be so much rivalry, ri rivalry, rivalry, whatever you get it, uh, between um, religions because we all ultimately be believe in something and the point of that is to make us better people for our peers and for gods. I don't, I don't understand why we all just can't be a happy big family. <laughs> well, anyway, this was about it, about religion. I'm definitely gonna go back into this because there's a lot more, more to say, but this will have to do. Colina, colina, colina